Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here where I want to do a quick little speed test between the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy Alpha, which was a phone that came out late, I think it was 2014. It was this uh, Samsung phone with this great design. You could uh, remove the back, it was just great. It had this metal kind of design around it, so uh, it can probably be hard to buy now because it was a long time ago it got released. But uh, let's still try to do this test here to see how fast it is. So the S8 versus the Alpha. Let's go. So uh, this one came out late 2014 as I said. And very slim and compact. Let's go. Side by side. Something text popping up on both. Oh well, I did remove the biometrics thing here. Oh my god. I'm, I gotta say, I'm impressed with the offer, how it's smooth it is instantly when I'm up and running here. It is instantly working very, very nice. If I check out here, you have this old UI views because this one hasn't got the latest version of Android updated because it's no longer getting uh, receiving updates because it's an older phone. Uh, but this one right here is running nice still. You have this old Galaxy S5 UI here. And if I go to about device, Android 5 with two, so actually not that old. I mean, a lot of devices use Android 6.0, so. It's not that far behind. It's nice that it got that one uh, instead of just um, uh, 4.4 KitKat or uh, Android KitKat. Here, Android 7.0. And this one kind of feels like a mini, almost like a mini uh, Galaxy S2, uh, but a little bit more in a premium design here with the kind of metal build. Still, it's a very, very nice phone just because you can remove the back. Which is something that people have requested a lot with Samsung devices, but these newer phones from Samsung doesn't have a feature like that because it's just like pure glass on the back. But um, yeah, it's nice to know if you can get this device, you should definitely try to get it because it comes, I think it comes with a pretty good uh, Cortex or it comes with a pretty good uh, processor and um, it's very premium actually it's a very premium device in terms of gaming experiences so if you can get this device for a good price you should probably pick it up